Hello guys, welcome back to my page. So um, today we intend to model and simulate a realistic pillow in Blender using the current and the latest edition of Blender at the time of this recording. And uh, if you don't have Blender on your system or if you are new to the Blender environment and uh, you haven't installed it on your system, I would advise you to log on to the official page www.blender.com where you will be redirected to the official page and uh, you try and locate the download icon. This is what the Blender interface looks like. Uh, okay. So, When you open Blender for the first time, you will see the camera. This is the camera. This is the cube. And uh, this is the light. So for this particular project, you have to remove all these, all these items, all these objects that we have here. So you move on to the scene collection. Here is the scene collection. Please, as I'm looking, as I'm explaining all these things to you, please just let your eyes be on my cursor. Follow my cursor where I tell you the name of the options that I am using and the name of the objects that I'm clicking on. So, uh, you highlight this way. To highlight, you click on the left button, you come to this side, you click on the left button and you drag it down. Then you press X. X will give you the delete option. But let's assume you tried the option I just gave you now and it didn't work. You can just come straight here, straight to the uh, same collection. Click on camera, click on cube, click on light. And mind you, as you are clicking on all these things, the first option, the first thing that you click on here, which is the camera, make sure at the same time you click on your shift button and your hand must be held on the shift button all through the process. So I just clicked on the camera button now, the camera icon and my my left hand is on the shift button. Click on shift, you click on light. Then you come back here and you use the short code X, which will give you the delete option. So moving away from that, you click on shift A. So shift A will give you the option of mesh and so many other options that you can use to model, to model your objects. So in this context, we are going to use plane. Click on plane. Uh, so we can we can decide. Click on plane. So so let me walk you through. Uh, let me walk you through what these options are meant for. This is the selection box. See where so you can choose whatever you want to choose. And uh, this is this is for cursor, and this is to move to move the height. And okay, so a very good example is you can see I just moved the plane to my right, but it's on the right side, and uh, I just moved it forward. So let me, let's take it back to where the cursor is. And this button is for rotation. Although there are so many. So many short codes or short codes that can be used to achieve some of this work. Being the first time, or let me assume that this is your first time of using Blender. So I wouldn't like to stress you out with all these short codes. Let's just follow it a step at a time. So this particular button here is for it. Moving down here is to scale. So let me show you how it works. So here I have decided to increase the size of the plane. So you can you can reciprocate the same thing, increase it to whichever 
whichever size that uh, you are comfortable with. So go back to it. Click on the plane once more. And uh, you notice that if you move to this particular side of the application, where it's called the interaction mode, you notice that your interaction mode is in object mode. So you click on the interaction mode and you convert to edit mode. So converting it to edit mode, you can see that on the left hand side, it has given you more options where you can extrude, uh, cut, and uh, do so many other things. It will give you a lot of other options. So immediately after you do that, you right click. As soon as you right click, it will give you the option of loop tools. Well, right now we are not using that. So we click on subdivide here. Yeah. And uh, as soon as you click on subdivide, you come to number of cuts. The, the current number of cuts here is one. Uh, let's increase our number of cuts to 10. And uh, let's see what happens, okay? So immediately after increasing the number of cuts, you can see what we have here. So uh, I clicked on enter and the whole thing wasn't highlighted again. Like the, 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 the highlight on the, on the object left. So to, to re-highlight it again, you, you, you left click right on top of the plane and you drag it down. While dragging it down, make sure that the color is well circulated and uh, it's visible and no part of it is still color black. So everything is now this new color. Then to extrude, which is very simple, you click on, you click on letter H. As soon as you click on letter H, you move your mouse cursor upward to whichever size that you are comfortable with. Okay, I think this is fine. And uh, as soon as I'm done with that, I click on tab. Notice what will happen. Put your eyes here on the on the edit on the edit mode. As soon as I click on tab, it will take us back to the object mode. And uh, dear viewers, if you are enjoying what I'm doing currently, please don't don't forget to like, share, and probably subscribe to my YouTube channel so that that will give me the opportunity to produce more materials for for everyone. Thank you. Yeah, so a little after you click on tab, this is what we got. And the option has gone back to the object mode. So to further beautify this, come to the physical properties. Coming to the physical properties, look at the options that you have there. There's the option of clothes, the clothes simulation. You click on clothes. And then after that, you click on clothes, scroll down till you locate pressure, activate the pressure, and uh, let's make the pressure 2.5. I hope that won't be too much. Yeah, but I feel 2.5 is okay. Then you scroll down. You go to the field width. So this is where it gets tricky. Make sure all the figures I'm using, you, you have to get yourself well familiar with it. So you won't make any obvious mistake. So for the gravity, you convert it to zero. Okay. So now we come down here. To the play animation and let's see what we have. Whoa! Just like that. You can see uh, this looks like a pillow, but you can see the sharp edges. So let's further beautify it so that it will look like a more realistic pillow. So you right click, as soon as you right click, you will see the option of shade smooth. Click on shape smooth. You can see the sharp edges have reduced, or let me even say gone. You can see what it looks like. It looks like a realistic pillow. And uh, 
Let's see how the modifier takes. Come to the um, to the modifier properties. You hard the modifier. Here there are so many options. Don't worry. In coming tutorials, I will show you what each options here are meant for, like the geometric nodes, the maps, the array, the bevel, the build, and so on. But in this context, we intend to choose solidify. So we've chosen solidify. And uh, finally, here is our pillow. So to have a better view of what, of what you just did, congratulations, you just modeled your first project in a Blender. So this is it. You scroll around it, you scroll around it, you scroll around it, you can see. So uh, in the next tutorial, in the part two of this series, I intend to teach you how you can add lightings to what you just modeled to further beautify it, to make it look more realistic. And apart from adding lighting, you can see that this pillow doesn't have a color yet. We had a color to it. And after having a color, we had a backdrop. So to make everything look more realistic. So don't forget, like I said, to like, share, and subscribe so that you can be notified when I drop my next tutorial series.